How to blur faces in a video It can be pretty upsetting when you have to let go of footage just because you accidentally got something in the shot that shouldn't have been there. You might be in a situation where you have to hide the faces of people who don't want to be in your video. Or you accidentally have your personal ID on display in a shot and you don't want people to see it. Well, no worries. It's an easily fixable issue with the Wondershare Filmora 10. Welcome back to Filmora MVP YouTube channel. Here, we teach you the latest editing tips, camera tricks, and filmmaking techniques. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you never miss a video. Go ahead and comment down below what more tutorials you'd like to see from us. If you don't have Filmora 10, you can find the link to download it in the description below. Today, we're going to walk you through how to blur faces in a video. Now, there are definitely blur face apps on the App Store and Google Play Store, but they can sometimes be a little clunky in their motion tracking and they won't give you the results you want. A common solution to hiding faces or information in a video is to overlay a cute sticker on it, but they don't move along with the video. That's why we'll teach you how this can be solved. First, open Wondershare Filmora and drag and drop your video onto the editing timeline. Make sure you click the correct settings for your project. Now, double-click the clip and go to this menu on the left to click Motion Tracking. A box will pop up in your video monitor. Now, I want to blur this woman's face out of my footage, so I'll drag the tracker box here. You can also adjust the size as you need it, so I'm just going to tighten this a bit around her face. Next, go to the menu on the left again and click Start Tracking. Filmora 10 will start processing your video, so wait until it hits 100%. Now that the software has identified what you want to blur, you can pick the tool you want to use to blur. Go to the drop-down menu and click Mosaic. Next, drag it over the area you want to blur and adjust the size as you need it. You can also choose between what type of mosaic you want too. Pick between a pixelated look, a hazy look, there are several options here. I personally like the pixelated look. Use the slider to adjust how much blurriness you want. So about there. Looks good to me. And you also want to adjust your opacity. So 99 is okay. And I'm just going to back and bump up the blur amount to 47. Lock in your adjustments by clicking OK and hit play to preview your video. But if you want to use stickers instead of blurring with pixels, Filmora 10 has something for you too. You can also upload an image to the library and use that as your sticker. Just go to Elements, click the Included folder, and you'll find smileys, bunnies, flowers, dogs, whatever you want. When you find something you like, drag and drop it onto the timeline above your video clip. Adjust the size of the sticker, And this time, in the drop-down menu for motion tracking, select Pet Element. Now click play to preview your video. And the great thing about this is the stickers aren't static. Like this bunny is blinking and moving its head around, so it's a lot more interactive. If you're happy with the output, go ahead and export the clip. Just go to the navigation bar on top and hit export, then create video. Rename your file here and check the location where you are saving the video. And click export. And you're done! If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and share it with your fellow creators. Don't forget to leave a comment on what tutorials you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching! See ya!